win. Win. Say to you, bow your oh, knee. COVID-19, 19, bow your knee. South wind, wind. blow the wind. the wind of God. The wind of God. Heat on you. Supposing we hit the body. Robert Birmingham, known as the Blue Light Rapist, dies. With a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. From COVID-19. To trend that started overseas and is now taking on a life of its own here in the U.S. And I think you said. Buildings all over the country are glowing with blue lights. That hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. As a way to thank our health care and frontline workers. He was convicted in a string of rapes that horrified Arkansans back in the late 1990s. Central Arkansas health care workers definitely got a show today. Prosecutors accused him of using flashing blue lights to impersonate police. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body. As the blue angels flew around the metro. Which you can do, either through the skin or paying homage and saluting. They say he would then pull women over. All those who are on the front lines of this COVID-19 fight. Uh, in some other way. And then kidnap and rape them. And then I see the disinfectant. A victim who testified against him in court, Shannon Woods, told THV 11, quote, But it knocks it out in a minute. I had many different emotions when I learned of this news. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. But I am relieved he is deceased. And so we'll see, but the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute. And as our first responders continue to fight this crisis head on, that's uh, that's pretty powerful. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. And I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> this is a uh, an issue that the whole world is grappling with. Our largest gene expert, the Infinity, incorporates automation to help load up to 80 cartridges that can be run simultaneously. And so we felt like it was our moral obligation to um, offer testing to as many people as we can. Cepheid's Expert Express test can be used easily by healthcare providers where it is needed most. We live in a world where people are doing all type of wild things like drinking blood. You know, you ever, you familiar with How you doing, Chris? How, yeah, how you I'm feeling? Doing, I'm, I'm doing well. You familiar with the adrenochrome? The beast comes at night. You know, as we know, the healthcare workers uh, have taken a calling the virus the beast. I, I, I've heard of it. I've never actually partaken myself. Yeah, I sell blood. But... I understand why. My fever has gone up a couple of degrees in like the last 30 minutes. And then I see the disinfectant. So it knocks it out in a minute. I advise you to take a hit out of the little brown bottle in my shaving kit. By injection inside or, or you won't need almost much. a cleaning because you see it gets in the lungs and it's just a tiny taste. You know I had to do a test the other day, and huh? I think you said that has him checked, but you're going to test it. So what happens is at night, you know, your body temperature goes up in the late afternoon anyway. Corona? Yeah, I will get pain in my face now, headaches, what is this shit? Uh, profuse sweating, adrenochrome. My vision in my left eye is a little blurred from <laughs> pressure. Uh, but it came back negative though. From sinus pressure and some manifestation of the virus. I've talked to several clinicians and experts that in this. That's uncomfortable though. They put that Q-tip. Typically what the test will do, you'll take a sample of this reddish stain that you have. All the way in. And you have these wicked phantasmagorical experiences that are not dreaming. Oh, not your thoughts and shit. When I say I saw my father sitting on the end of the bed, I would have gladly raised my hand as an affiant and testified to it under oath easily. Um, why? Because the fever. That's iron. Because your body's all screwed up. So what I'm saying is, yeah, I'm going to make uh, fun of some of this stuff. But it isn't funny when you're living it for people. And I do not mean to dismiss their pain. I'm just trying to help people not be too spooked. Because everybody's so spooked about getting this that if I get it, what will happen? You'll survive. It's very rare for a family to be one and done. Um, your brother's soul is mine. So this is going to be number 17 on the list. You will be well, next. Well, when is this over? It's over when we have a vaccine. The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120-volt battery. Watch them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living. You ever tried adrenochrome? No.
Hit me up, right? I'll get you a gallon. <laughs> a gallon? What does a night look like for you? You said your fever is spiked. It comes from China. Uh, I will Sweet. get pain in my face now, headaches, uh, profuse sweating. Literally, my vision in my left eye is a little blurry. My vision in my left my eye, vision in my left is, a little eye blurry. is a little blurry from pressure, from sinus pressure and that some manifestation of the virus. I've talked to several clinicians and experts in this. They've all said it's a very common thing. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm um, president. And then you can't sleep because you have eye. fever. Is a little blurry. I can't sleep. Burn this thing! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.